Hey guys, what the hell's going on? Just out at the cabin uh, hanging out. Gonna have an overnighter with the old puppy dog. Not much on the docket today. Just uh, trying out this new tripod, seeing if it's gonna work for handheld. Planning on doing a trip to uh, a trail in New Brunswick. It's 150 plus kilometers for backpacking and I wanna take this camera plus the tripod and the batteries, so it's a bit heavy. I'd take the tripod it, that I usually use, but it's a bit it's 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 quite heavy it's like two or three pounds it's not as uh difficult to trail in terms of uh heights and things like that although we do climb a mountain which is called mount carlton it's the highest peak in the maritimes or the highest peak in new brunswick or the highest peak of something but it's not very high anyways i'm out here with the dog chilling out and i'm just going to shoot some random footage and just odds and ends and maybe some walking shots and just see what kind of angles and stuff we'll have to work with <laughs> Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, so what I did is, think, so the camera here has a tripod mount to it. And that mount is a ball, which is great, but it's three or four ounces. So it's pretty heavy in terms of holding it. So I took that off and it has a second quarter inch thread. So I put that on and it seemed pretty quick to throw down something fairly level and that's all I'm trying to do I'm not I don't give a two hoots about whether it swivels around or not so I think I'm gonna try this out for a while sorry for looking at that I can't I'm not used to it this is a this is kind of new in some ways because it's more like vlogging which I'm not really a big big fan of but so yeah this is pretty good we're going to uh, go from there Okay, so we got two things down, two things kind of fixed. One is that we got it set up so the battery is going to take over and shut down the camera, uh, which is fantastic. The other thing is, is that we did take off that second mount. Seems good right from the get-go. And this auto that I've picked, which is, I don't even know what it is. God damn it. It's, it's pretty good. It's doing a pretty good job. The autofocus is doing a pretty good job. And then the great thing is I can do a, a, well, like a compensation to it takes a little extra work but I can do it so that's worked out really well I think I'm gonna like this setup a little better yeah totally you know what I could throw the ND filter on and just have it sitting there and just having that there is a little bit of contrast so ooh, it's dark. where's my filter hello Mr. Filter it's pretty filtered and I'll just take it off you can see the difference. So this will add just a touch of contrast, which I like. So that's the minimum. So it's very, see, it's, it's already better just as a minimum, right? But we'll just uh, use that to control it. That's, oh, that's way better, yeah. All right, so in the interest of uh, continuing this little journey of filming myself, Let's look at the dog take a piss. Oh yeah. Good times with the puppy dog. Hey buddy. Oh, you made it. Yeah, made it. Wanna go for a walk? You hungry? <laughs> You're always hungry, aren't you buddy? Soccer puppy dogs. You are? Huh? Huh. Here you go. Go get it. Jump in. Oh, you want some of that water? You do. I know you do. You think? You get enough water? You think? What's up, buddy? Huh? That was cutie. Huh? You hungry? What do you think, buddy? What do you think? What do you think? 
you're giving up. Look at that cabin. Look at the puppy dog. And the cat. Yep, looking pretty good. Okay, so you can probably hear the dog panting in the background. I guess we're going to take off a little early today. Um, I had some things I want to get done. I, I'm, I mean, I meant to do, go out back and work on some stuff, but it's just too darn hot. And the dog's dying, so for now we're going to hightail it back because there's stuff I can work on at the house. And then um, I'll be back in a couple days, maybe film some more. But uh, So sorry for the strange video because it's going to kind of probably be all over the place. And the point behind that is I've been trying to figure out how to film with this camera in this particular style. So it's a bit more of a run and gun. So I think the quality is still there. You just got to see it between the lines, so to speak, because there'll be more <clears throat> unique cuts, I guess, in that sense. So, yeah. So thanks for joining me. Uh, more videos to come. Looking forward to my hike. Hopefully I can get a great video out to you later on and the rest of the world and I really represent that trail and represent uh, my ability to film, make, and, and hopefully tell a little bit of a story too. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll be talking to you soon. Take care. Thanks for thanks for hanging out for a little bit.